this is just a quick video on how I replace the oxygen sensors on a VY V6. I've already got both the sensors out. This is an old one thing and this is a brand spanking new one. This one is a Japanese NI key and NIK and this is a German made Bosch and I believe that they're both compatible. Now the way I did it uh, I used a one of these offset um, sockets. The reason is that there isn't too much space where the sensors sit. There's one there, so I've already replaced that one. And I've got one of these angled and adjustable wrenches. It just made life so much easier. Now the one on the other side, on the driver's side, was a little bit trickier and I had to undo that from the bottom so that one sits just there uh, the clips were a little bit tricky to take out too uh, this one was actually easier on on this side uh, the one on the left hand side over there uh, I had to break that plastic, that grey plastic tab there connected to the uh, mount to remove the old electrical wiring. And then there is a tab on top here uh, which stays with the original electrical connectors which you just lift up and you'll be able to pull this away. Here, the offset socket definitely plays its role. You can see that the car body frame is just there and with a normal socket, it might make life a little bit difficult. Make sure the engine, oh, some people say to run the engine, so everything, the exhaust will expand, might be easy to remove but I personally didn't find any issues removing it um, I didn't run the engine because I don't want to actually burn myself on any of the exhaust parts and that still worked perfectly so I've just fitted this side on uh, before fitting in the electricals because I don't want to twist or tear the wiring and it's a pretty simple process after this. Camera focus. The socket. It fits quite nicely in there. And you probably don't even need a bent adjustable wrench like this. But because I do, I'm going to use it to fit it in there and voila I believe the new sensor already had some copper grease so that it doesn't seize up permanently so they don't really need to lube or grease up the threads uh, you just yeah, tighten it. There's a few. Um, there we go. There's a few washers there that make life easier. And then you rotate like this. Um, clip. The tab is on top. So. You probably won't be able to see. Oh, I'm just gonna fit it in. Ah, oh, that's it. All clicked in. Perfect.